All right, so um, after seeing some uh, Harry Potter tag videos on YouTube, I wanted to do my own. And so in this video, I'm going to be answering 20 questions about Harry Potter. And the first is, uh, which is your favorite book? Um, I'd have to answer it being The Prisoner of, of Azkaban. And the reason why that is my favorite book is because my favorite characters are introduced in this book. Um, them being uh, Remus Lupin and Sirius Black. So yeah, that's why. And I like the story and things like that. Uh, favorite movie? Um, the favorite movie uh, will have to be either Prisoner of Azkaban seeing it's my favorite book as well or uh, um, I think Deathly Hallows Part 2 because I love bits and pieces from that movie and I think it's yeah because it's kind of the conclusion to the entire series and yeah okay so three least f uh, favorite book that would have to be least favorite book um either order of the phoenix or half blood prince and them being my least favorite books because in Order of the Phoenix it's not the book itself but the reason that the book was ruined uh, by my sister <laughs> for me um, when the book came out I bought the book to read and I knew someone was going to die because uh, someone I knew already read it and uh, I didn't know who and I didn't want to know until I finished the book but then on our way home from town my sister opened the book right on the page on which it said that Sirius Black had died so it kind of ruined the entire book for me so thanks sis and uh, The Half-Blood Prince because it takes a long while for all the memories to come together and I was kind of annoyed with Harry in this book because he was so obsessed with Draco and I kind of liked it but kind of didn't. Okay, uh, la least favorite movie would have to be Goblet of Fire just because the book, it's, the book wasn't as bad as the movie but the movie left so many important parts out that it went from this part to that part and back and yeah and in the end it was yeah it was just not the way it should have been done okay uh, parts of the books are movies that made you cry hmm Dobby's death series dying um Seeing Fred lying on the ground and knowing all my favorite characters would be dead in the end. Yeah, that would be it. Uh, Twilight versus Harry Potter. Harry Potter all the way. I used to like Twilight, but the movies ruined it for me. And Harry Potter will always be there. Uh, if you could hook up with any Harry Potter character... Who would it be? Either Graham Slovin or Sirius Black? Yeah. Or Gideon Pruitt. I love him. Even though he's not in the books, like actually in the books, he's still a character I like. Um, favorite character? Um, I think I've already explained that one, didn't I? Sirius Black and Graham Slovin. 
And why are they my favorite characters? Because I like how they um, used to be Harry's father's best friend, friends, and then after James died, they had their rough periods, like Sirius going to Azkaban and Remus yeah, being kind of out of the picture. I don't know where he was, but um, and in the end, they they took Harry in as their own, and yeah, I just love that story. Like uh, James wasn't able to look after Harry anymore, so his best friends took over. Uh, what would your Patronus be? My Patronus would be either a crocodile or a cat. Yeah, I think that's it. They're my favorite animals, so yeah. If you could have the Resurrection Stone, the Invisibility Cloak or the Elder Wand, which one would you choose? I choose the Invisibility Cloak just because I'd like to see, uh, I think it would be cool to know what it's like to be invisible, I don't know. I'd, I'd rather not have any of them, but yeah, I have to choose. Uh, are you upset with any parts left out in the films? Well, like I just explained, there's some serious um, parts in the fourth film that were left out that I thought why they were left out and I can't name them like right on the spot but that's why I yeah I didn't really like that one and yeah uh what house would you be in well um Pottermore placed me in Hufflepuff and but I think if I got to choose, I'd either be in Gryffindor or Slytherin. And that would be why, because um, I can be very brave and I'm very loyal to my friends. And I'd go through fire and kill myself rather than seeing them hurt. And I can be pretty sleazy about it. I don't know. I just think I like those the best. Uh, favorite subject at Hogwarts? It would have to be Defense Against the Dark Arts. And I think it would be rather cool to learn about um, the dark arts and why they were there and why... Um, how to stop them and how to learn to defend myself. A uh, favorite professor would either have to be Remus Lupin. Yeah, of course he's my favorite character, so yeah. And uh, Professor McGonagall, because she's just awesome. Elvis Dumbledore, I like him a lot. Um, if you could meet any member of the cast, who would it be? I'd have to say Tom Felton or Emma Watson or um, Gary Oldman, David Thewlis. Yeah, I don't know. I'd like to read, have to meet any of them. Um, if you could do one spell in real life, what would it be? Um, expect a Patronum, because then I'd see what my Patronus would be. Or Lumos, sneaking around in the dark is always fun. Um, yeah, I think those two. If you were on the Quidditch team, which position would you play? I think I'd play either Keeper or Chaser. Because I can get quite competitive and I think I'd be quite good at those. Uh, were you happy with the ending? Well, when I speak about the ending, I speak about the 
part with Voldemort actually dying, not the 90, 19 years later. Um, yeah, I, I like that one, but I think it was, con it was done quite easy. I think she could have written it out better. I don't know how, but I somehow feel it wasn't over yet. Um, how much, okay, this is the last question by the way. How much does Harry Potter mean to you? Um, Harry Potter means the world. Um, the books and movies got me through some pretty difficult times and um, in the end were always there when I needed a place to hide away. So it's like uh, Rowling said at the premiere of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 that uh, Hogwarts will always be there to welcome you, welcome you home. So yeah, it means everything to me. And I don't know if it o will always be of mean everything to me, but at least for a very, very long time. So yeah. Okay, so the, uh, these were the questions. And I tag all of you to do this tag with me. Thanks for watching.